Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Brian Mosell with Integrated Health Services. Beautiful day here. Notice my normally perfect hair, just kidding, is completely out of whack because it is a beautiful, breezy and sunny, cool, crisp, late August day here in Minnesota. Great, perfect weather this time of year. And I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but winter is on the horizon. And I wanna talk about winter preparation in terms of our immune system. So as we approach fall and we're getting into the shorter, uh, the sunlight's getting shorter and shorter every day, and the temperatures are gonna gradually start to get colder here in the upper Midwest, now is the time to start preparing your immune system for the colder and darker days ahead. So I wanted to share my winter preparation protocol. Um, four simple components. One is something called IAG, which are arabinogalactins. And what those will do is they will boost your natural killer cells, your NK cells, which are a part of our innate immune system. And these are crucial for fighting off viruses and uh, different types of infections, bacterial infections, and can even help support uh, a fight against cancer. And using this IAG powder every day, just a teaspoon a day, can actually raise your natural killer cells up to 28 times with daily use. So it's something you can certainly take throughout the year, but as we're about two months away from the weather really turning cold is when you want to start working on ramping that immune system up rather than trying to play catch up when the quote uh, cold and flu season come along uh, here in the next couple months. Next component, really simple, is vitamin C. And vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, so we don't store much, if any, of it. And what's really important with vitamin C is you wanna make sure that it is, it is the C complex. A lot of vitamin C will say as ascorbic acid. And ascorbic acid is not the same as vitamin C. I've done a couple of videos in the past and talked about that with some posts. I'll put a simple graphic in the comments below that will demonstrate how you can't call ascorbic acid vitamin C. It's just not the same. It's a component of vitamin C, but it is not uh, the same as the vitamin C molecule. Next is uh, elderberry syrup, full of antioxidants, full of vitamin C, tastes great, and I sell an organic elderberry syrup from the Elderberry Queen, and it comes in 24 and 32 ounce bottles, uh, one to two teaspoons a day. If you start to feel sick, you can ramp that up. Um, to you know, two to three tablespoons a day uh, to keep it on the lower end because there is some sugar in it. Um, so I try not to overload uh, the system with that, but it is a great source of antioxidants and vitamin C. And the last is vitamin D. So the vast majority of vitamin D that we get and our body uses comes from the sun. So as the daylight gets uh, less and less and our skin exposure to the sun gets less and less as we put on more layers, we're not gonna absorb and utilize the vitamin D from the sun that we should. So a way to help supplement that is by uh, taking some drops, vitamin D and K together, to help the utilization and absorption of your vitamin D. So taking those four things is what I recommend for a winter preparation uh, protocol, which I will post below. But I'd also like to hear from you. I'd like to hear what you do uh, with you and your family, or if you have a practice of your own, I'd like to hear from you what you do to prepare yourself, your family, friends, kids, what you do to prepare your immune system for the um, impending winter that's not too far on the horizon. So I want to thank you for viewing, and if you have questions, please comment below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Take care and you have a great rest of your day.